So this morning I went on a home visit with the consultant and the registrar to meet someone in the community who's living in like a care facility who has um, schizophrenia. Hey everyone, it's Tuesday week two of year three of medicine. I just left the gym. It was a very short and sweet workout. Since getting COVID in Jan, Jan 1, I've just found it so hard to be consistent at the gym. Then I got the vaccine last week and then I've also moved house. So I just found it really, really hard to stay in a good gym schedule. So today I just did a quick 20 minute workout because at least that's something. I'm gonna head home now, have a shower and get ready for my day on placement. Today I'm doing Psych of Old Age. It's a new placement with a new team, so I don't want to be late, so I'm going to get out of here. Hello, had my first taste of psych today as part of my geriatrics term. It was pretty good. It was busy this morning because I also had a shoot at uni, so I was kind of meeting the team and then I had to run off to a shoot. So I only spent a little bit of time with everyone, but it was pretty interesting. I did enjoy it. The major part of what I did today was I was part of a review for someone who was receiving electroconvulsive therapy. Electroconvulsive therapy is used for people who have things like major depression or schizophrenia and it's super super effective. This person who I saw today they were having really great results with it. They had been on it for a few months now and so they used to be getting them every couple of weeks when they first started but now they only get them once every five weeks and they were doing super well with it. Today was the registrar's first day on being in psych so I didn't really get to talk to her very much because she was busy doing all her induction stuff for her new term. So I basically sat in silence for a lot of it, but she was really, really nice. Uh, hopefully she has more time to speak to me tomorrow. Now it is 2.30. I need to rush home now because I have a class from three to five on First Nations Health. And I wanna have a little snack before I have that class and be on my computer. So let's go. Oh my god, I was so tired yesterday. I slept for a few hours after I got home from uni and then had dinner and then went to bed at like 10 or 11. I'm just so, so tired. I think this is still a residual effect of COVID and then the COVID vaccine, but I am just zonked. So I just got home for a quick second to make some lunch because I live quite close to the placement that I'm at at the moment. So this morning I went on a home visit with the consultant and the registrar to meet someone in the community who's living in like a care facility who has um, schizophrenia. We just went there to see if their medication was sufficient and how their symptom management was going and they were really happy. Their symptom management was going really well, so that was really good to see. That's the first time I've been to see a care facility in the community. I've never seen that before. So that was interesting to see. It kind of looked like a hotel with all these doors. The consultant psychiatrist was also teaching me things like looking out for gait, so the way someone is walking when you're assessing them for their schizophrenia medication, because schizophrenia medication can make you have a different gait. It's called a Parkinsonian gait, a shuffling gait. The patient didn't have that, so all good. Now everyone is having lunch, so I need time to have lunch. And there's another home visit in about an hour, which I'm going to attend as well before I have my shoots this afternoon. The registrar that is on is really, really nice. The one who started the other day. And that home visit is going to be with her. 
I don't know who I'm seeing yet, but I will find out. It's a bit different being in this psych area as opposed to the main hospital or the rehab place that I was at last week because there's no patients at the place, they don't, there's no inpatients. They just review patients there, they have clinic appointments or they have people who go out and see the patients in the community. So I am actually quite attached to the team because if I'm not attached to the team, there's nothing much for me to do. Whereas in other departments, there's always something to do. There's always a patient you can talk to and stuff like that. I am totally in heaven right now. I cannot believe I just ran into this store. This is amazing. I wish I had a hundred million dollars to spend here because everything is so sick. Oh no, it's happening again. I just had a class that was an hour online and I'm so tired. I feel like I'm about to nod off. And in about five minutes, I have another class that goes for an hour and a half and pray for me that I don't fall asleep in that one too because that's just so embarrassing. I can't do that two days in a row. I just finished my second tutorial. The second tutorial was on wound management and it was with an absolute boss professor. He was really, really good. It really put us all on the spot, but I learned a lot as well about how to manage different types of ulcers and wounds and how to dress them. So. Now I'm going to, I want to really try to make a butter chicken. I have a really difficult relationship with making Indian food because when I grew up, I was spoiled with really good Indian food because my dad was a chef and he just made the best food ever. So now I have a really, really high standard for Indian food that I haven't met yet. So more often than not, when I try to cook something Indian, I'm always disappointed because it doesn't taste like my dad's food. Every few months I have to try it again to see if I can get it any closer to the taste that I remember in my head. So I think today I'm gonna give a butter chicken another crack. It turned out so badly, I don't wanna talk about it. The placement that I went on this afternoon after I had lunch was to visit someone in the community with a psychiatrist and a nurse because this person is on a medication called clozapine and clozapine has a lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of side effects. So anyone who's on it needs to get monthly checks to make sure that the medication isn't doing anything too nasty to them. So that's what we did in the afternoon. Tomorrow and the day after, I don't have any placement. So that will be a good time for me to catch up on all of my online learning because I just don't feel like I ever have the time to catch up on my online learning already, even though it's week two but we'll do what we can over the next couple of days. Just got home from the gym. As you can see, the kitchen is a bit of a mess. I'm gonna meet my friend Mesa in about 15 minutes, so just gonna tidy this up. All done. So I basically fell asleep while I was studying last night, literally at my desk, I was so tired. <laughs> this morning I haven't had any placement today so I had to go to the shops to get a gift for a friend of mine so I haven't really done too much study all I've done is gone to the gym gone to the shops uh, visited my sister and I just had an online shoot for my professional practice class that's the ethics class that I've had every year. Today's was just an introduction. Hi, how are you? This is the tutor type of class. So we didn't really learn anything. And now in 20 minutes, I have a class on delirium. I'm going to try to do some pre-reading before the class because yesterday I did not do the pre-reading before our wound care class and I got roasted in front of everyone because I don't know how to look after a burn and I'm in third year and that's embarrassing. So, um... Hopefully I know what to do in a situation with someone has delirium, which I don't for now, but I've got 20 minutes to learn. Daisy's having a sweet little nap here because she's a cute little gal. Right after this next shoot, I have to run off for a job interview at the cinema, which is so random. It's a job I applied for a few months ago because I just love movies and it's been one of my life dreams actually to work at the movies. And I thought, it's now or never. I'm either going to work at the movies now or I'm never going to work at the movies. So 
Uh, fingers crossed that it goes well. I'm only going to take the job if it's very flexible and fits my uni schedule. So I'm going into the interview with the attitude that I need to find out more about the job and know if it's a good fit for me. But we'll see how it goes. It's always good to practice more interviews and get those skills up. I'm not someone who really likes to or is very good at talking about myself and my own accomplishments. So having interviews for me is a good opportunity to practice uh, being able to talk about my skills a bit more without feeling Stacey, no. He's just walking, no. Good girl, good girl. Um, yeah, so interviews for me are just about practicing uh, how to talk about myself and not feel deathly uncomfortable about it. I don't know what they want us to look over for this class. So I'm just reading over the slideshow of the lecture on delirium that I watched last week and hopefully that's enough. This room has really good ab lighting. I'm just about to go to do a yoga session. Uh, it's at a new place that I've never been to before because I just moved areas. So I'm excited to check out a new place. I am currently still editing my video. I'm basically almost done. I'm doing my final go over where I add titles and all of that because I normally edit in a couple of passes, a rough cut and then a fine cut, add music and then I add titles and that's basically it. So yeah, I'm going to head off now, do some yoga, come home, finish this video and then have a relaxing afternoon. I had a great time talking to my gal Mesa. She is one of my friends from first year and we just spent some time firstly just chatting and catching up and then secondly doing some practice for our OSCE. So I did a practice OSCE with her where I was the patient pretending to have memory loss. The case was Alzheimer's and then she was asking me questions to do with that and she's just degenerated it. So she obviously did super well, but it was very, very good to get some practice in early. We're gonna to try to make it a regular thing and do it now instead of leaving things to the last minute. That was such a good class. Oh my goodness. That was a hot yoga class. And I normally hate hot yoga because they always smell like feet. But this one did not smell like feet. It smelled really nice. Uh, the instructor was really good and clear. Um, we spent a lot of time in down dog, which is my favorite position. So every time I'm doing yoga with lots of down dog, I really like it. And yeah, oh my God, it feels so good. I always forget how much I love yoga until I remember to do it again. And then I just feel amazing after I'm done. What a lovely end to my Friday. Honestly, that was perfect. I really need to do that more often. Thank you so much for coming everyone and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be awesome if you could like, comment and subscribe as it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and it really helps to keep my motivation up to keep posting as well. And I will see you next time I post. Thank you again for sticking around till this point in the video. You are a legend.